Hello and welcome to this tutorial. This tutorial is about uh, Zamarian. Zamarian is a platform to build C Sharp uh, application for Android and uh, iOS. It uses the native API, so uh, it's really, really reliable. And let's say one of the closest cross platform, or let's say non native. Uh, platform to develop uh, a mobile application for iOS or Android so we will be using Visual Studio 2015 I already installed Zamarian on this device and on Visual Studio it's really pretty basic just a simple install after you install it uh, go to file a new project and then from a project you will see Android so choose Android and select the blank app you can also as you can see here here is the ios uh, it may yep here is if you want to develop uh, an iphone app you can go to ios and select iphone or ipad but for now we will be just using android so go ahead and add the new project from android and select ok to add it i already did that so i will just walk you through the solution uh, file for the Zamarian. So uh, the Zamarian, uh, pretty basic. Uh, it's like uh, very close to the native Android files. Okay, we have here the assets. We have uh, the resources. As you can see, the drawable, the layout, the values, the same folders that are found in any Android uh, project. If you use like Android Studio or Eclipse, the same uh, the same folders here and there. As you can see, we have here uh, the layout, we have the main XML layout, we have also uh, the string XML, just like uh, a normal Android project, just pretty basic, it's uh, in uh, C Sharp and uh, Zamarian. Okay, now uh, let's go first to our layout. Okay, let it open. Uh, is it open? It's open, but I guess it needs some time to load the, the layout, so I will just give it some time. Okay, uh, now as you can see from here, I can do different things like choosing what device to preview on, I can choose what uh, level of ABI, I can also choose if I have a theme installed for that. I can also of the device is portrait or uh, landscape with a single click let me just zoom in as you can see this is uh, this is pretty much the default app this is uh, just a button they placed uh, let me go further with you here is uh, uh, here is uh, the Android if you can see the uh, the AVD the Android virtual device manager here is the SDK manager that is the ADB command promote and this is the log cat and also device monitor right here so it's pretty much like uh, close to uh, using an Eclipse or an Android Studio pretty basic now uh, let me show you the toolbox uh, from the toolbox we can uh, select different uh, Android uh, uh, buttons or uh, uh, let's say controller and just drag it and drop it to uh, to the layout so we can add it i'm gonna add a button right here drag it and drop it and this is our button so what i'm going to do now is go to the properties of that button okay and as you can see it has an id of button one i want to change that i'm gonna call it my bnt I'm gonna hit enter to save it and I'm going to save all right so now after I added uh, this I want to use uh, a string or a static string inside this button so what I'm going to do is go to the strings XML for a uh, file and what I'm going to do I'm going to add a new uh, element string Okay, I'm gonna give it the name of my BNT text and I'm gonna call it my 
button oops sorry my button okay i save that now uh, now what i want to do is uh, to add you see this button i wanted to take uh, f uh, this is string from the resources file or the string file so I'm going to properties I will scroll down until I find text as you can see right here it's this is a static text but if I hit to browse it show me all the uh, strings inside uh, my strings.xml file so as you can see this is our text my button I'm gonna select it hit ok and as you can see it uh, imported it and uh, now my text changed to my button as you can see it's uh, this here uh, if you notice also in android studio or eclipse uh, it will be like the same syntax at string slash my button txt if we open the source yes as you can see not the id yep the text right here and even if we look at the uh, the layout uh, xml file it's also like exactly the same of an android a normal android uh, layout file so the Marian is really really like like a native it's very very close to be a native just only built on c sharp okay now uh, this is was uh, our layout let me just go back to the design we added a button now what we want to do is as you, as you see this button we want to add an event to it so what i'm going to do is go to the main activity let's see us as you can see as uh, if you used also again if you used android studio or eclipse uh, the, there is a main activity class for every application and it's uh, the main class that uh, launches uh, the whole application as you can see from here i can uh, i can edit that uh, uh, I can edit that uh, uh, activity class so uh, as you can see we can here add, add a different label let's say uh, main screen sorry uh, main screen as you can see we can also change if we want an icon but I for now I'm going to just uh, add uh, this label alright uh, here on uh, uh, on, the, on the create method or let's say this is the initial method that uh, get uh, called when our uh, application uh, first run or let's say this activity first run we can here add some events as you can see we have here we set uh, which layout we want to use as you can see resources layout and it was uh, that uh, this main.xml layout we can change it we can choose a different layout as we want i'm not gonna go very deep now into it i'm just gonna go to show you the basics so what i'm going to do now is to find our button i'm gonna give it a button my button okay now we're gonna tell it find view by id and the type of it is button also if you are from uh, if again uh, this is maybe the seventh time uh, if you are from eclipse or android studio you have used it before it's uh, very very the same very very the same so resources we have the id and as you can see here is our button so we found it and now what we are going to do i'm gonna just uh, copy paste uh, this method okay and let me just place it here yep uh, you see here we have added it a delegate a delegate to this click so each time it get hit it uh, takes will be uh, hitted uh, let's say change with the number of clicks so this is uh, our tutorial for now we will go deep much uh, deeper into the next lecture but i just wanted to show you uh, the basics of the marian and how it's look like thank you for watching and i hope i see you in goodwill goodbye